guys. Today I'm going to show you all how to test a starter solenoid for your mower. Um, it's pretty easy to do. It's not that hard. Um, you can use a battery, a battery charger, um, anything that's 12 volts to check it with. But um, well, let's get started on it. Alright guys, here's solenoid. Um, yours may look different, but I'll explain to you the difference. Um, <clears throat> this one has two terminals right here. One's positive, one's ground. It doesn't matter which way you do it, even on your mower, it doesn't matter which wire you hook where. You can put one here, one here, or you can swap them. It doesn't matter. Um, but if yours only has one terminal here, and this one's not there, that's okay. You can still test it. This terminal inside here is grounded to this base inside here. So rather than um, hooking this is a battery charger I'm using you hook one to one to there one on on one side and then just take your other one and touch it to this side you hear that click On the other one that only has one post here, you'll ground it here on the on the mount bracket and then touch it to that their positive to this post right here. So basically this terminal that is missing is connected to this bracket so it grounds through the bracket to where this one grounds on this second post so now that you think you it, it's working because it's clicking well that's not always the case it may be clicking but it may not be connecting these two together inside there and that's all this does it's like a big switch this side comes from your battery just like this say and then the other side goes straight to your starter motor well these two aren't connected until this is engaged and one of these comes straight from the key switch to one of these terminals like I said it doesn't matter which one but um, if you have a two terminal say you go buy a solenoid and you buy a two and when you take yours off, it only has one. You can still use this too. All you have to do is run a wire, put a terminal on it, and put it on one of these terminals. And then put another terminal on this side and run your bolt through it and ground it from here to the bracket. And it will work. And then you put your your starter wire, your only wire that you have here, and it will work. Because like I said, that's the only difference is one grounded. One's grounded to this second post, the single terminal here. Solenoid that only has one of these, it's grounded to the to the base. 
So all you got to do is take one of these posts and ground it to the base. And then when you mount this to the frame, it's grounded through the frame. And it will work. So, um, but your second test, you will need a multimeter. This is this one. And these are a little hard to use um, to do it. This meter comes with little adapters you can slide on there and it gives you little alligator clips, which is real helpful. Um, it's, it's just hard to hold those on these two terminals while you're trying to put power and engage but this just slips on here like that and then it gives you alligator clips pretty cool Let's slide this one on Gator clip on the positive. So now what you're gonna do, you got your meter, you're gonna put it on ohms, which is resistance. And pretty much for for when for people that don't know a meter, when you put it on ohms, you're pretty much checking a connection between something. It's the resistance between it but it's a connection between, it could be a switch, it could be one end of a wire to the other end of the wire. You're checking to make sure there's no break in that wire. So, so when I put this on ohms, this meter has a buzzer. So when I connect it one side to, it doesn't matter, red on this side, black on this side, red on it, it doesn't matter which way you do it it's just a connection so right now the solenoid is not engaged so I'm getting nothing it's just reading OL but when you connect power to it and ground and it connects inside of it it'll be Guess what, guys? That solenoid ain't no good. It's not, it's not connecting inside there. Now you wanna make sure and check your connections and stuff and make sure that you're doing this, this right. Check this one just to make sure we're connected. And then do it again. That solenoid is no good. It is not, it's clicking, but it's not connecting these two together. So what that means is there will be no battery voltage going to the starter. So if there's people, I've heard them say, as long as it's clicking, it's okay. Well, that's not true. If it's clicking, it doesn't mean necessarily it's connecting these two together inside here. It could be a piece inside there broke off, not letting it touch this post inside there. Anything can go wrong. Um, just to make sure, let's connect these two leads together and it should be. So if these two posts were connecting inside there, it would be. 
but it's not beeping. Let's try it the other way. Let's hook positive here and then ground it to the other side. It's no good. Even if it beeps, you won't do that several times. Just hit it, hit it. Just to make sure if yours is working, that it engages that meter every single time. If, if you touch it, and it, in, it beeps, and then you touch it again, and then it don't beep, you touch it again, and it don't beep, you touch it again, and it beeps. You need to buy a solenoid because it should connect every time. But that solenoid is no good, it is garbage. So we're going to throw it away and buy a new one. So, there you go. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll be glad to answer them. Um, I'll do another video of testing the solenoid with it on the mower so that way you don't have to take it off. And, um, it's easier to do it that way anyways, check it on there, but most people, they just take it off and then they're looking at it going, I wonder if it's any good. Hmm. Well, there's a way to test it. Well, that's what this video is for. To show you how to test it. Alright guys, I hope that video helped you checking the, checking the solenoid there. Um, like I said, I'll do a video with it on the mower so you'll know what to check for on the mower to the solenoid to make sure that all that's working. And, um, but if you like this video, hit the little like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the little subscribe button. That way you'll get notifications of future videos. You can share my video, um, and we'll see you on the next video.